Well, we are less than a week away from the 21st anniversary of September 11th. As politicians and our community prepare their annual tributes, News 12's Greg Thompson spoke with a firefighter who was stationed in Melrose and lives with the memories of that day every day. James McCarthy was supposed to have off on September 11th, 2001. He was at home in Goshen when he heard what happened. I got in my car. We hooked up with the uh, three other firefighters that lived near me. We drove into the city. A little after McCarthy got to Ladder 55 here in Melrose, some of the friars from the church right around the corner also came in. Said a quick uh, service for us and gave us um, general absolution. So that kind of gave you the uh, uh, feeling in your stomach that this was going to be very serious and maybe many of us weren't going to come back from it. By the time McCarthy got to ground zero, the towers had already fallen. He and his fellow firefighters started cutting and digging through what was left, sometimes pulling out just body parts of people who had worked there or other firefighters who had gotten there before him. Nothing prepares you for that um, situation and the enormity of it. I didn't find anybody that was alive. For about a year, McCarthy says his only real concept of time was whether he was supposed to report to the Bronx or to Ground Zero for work that day. You fit in attending memorials and funerals as they came along throughout the year uh, on your days off or on your way down to the firehouse or back. You kept your uniform in, in the car with you and you uh, tried to attend as many as you could. Now, 21 years later, McCarthy says it doesn't take much to remind him. To this day, you look at the clock and, the, and it says 9-11 or it says it's 3:43, and you, you get that memory uh, back again. Which is why even still, he can picture it all. The images, the sounds, and especially the smell. I wouldn't say anything is faded except for the, the raw uh, emotion of it and the, the trauma of... of going down there. Instead, McCarthy says it's now the trauma of watching fellow first responders continue to die from 9-11 related illnesses and the fights in Washington for more health care funding, which he tells us makes never forget not just a slogan, but his reality. In Melrose, Greg Thompson, News 12.